Good evening everyone, here's our latest update on uh, Typhoon Hagupit or Bagyong Ruby as it moves ever closer to the eastern coast of the Philippines. Today is December 5th of Friday around uh, 9 p.m. Uh, Philippine time and again we continue to watch this monster of a storm moving ever closer. Again expected to make landfall possibly in the Visayas or possibly in the Bicol region uh, by um, Saturday evening or into early Sunday morning. The eye of uh, Hagupit was last located approximately 340 kilometers east of the town of Borongan in eastern Samar province. Uh, maximum sustained winds according to the latest JMA analysis are at 195 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 280 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the latest JTWC warning, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, puts the winds at 230 kilometers per hour gusting to 280 kilometers per hour making Hagupit a category 4 typhoon on the uh, one minute scale. It has weakened compared to yesterday when it was a Category 5 Super Typhoon. It underwent an eyewall replacement cycle. However, the latest uh, satellite image, going back to the latest satellite image loop, you can see the system has actually improved a little bit. In fact, the latest JMA analysis increased the sustained winds by about 5 knots. Uh, so we could see a, a little slight uh, reintensification overnight. Uh, and perhaps into tomorrow before it uh, makes landfall out here in eastern Philippines. Uh, as of right now, you can see here the central dense overcast. You see that small eye surrounded by deep and strong convective activity. You can see the islands of Samar, Leyte, and the Bicol provinces um, to the west. We expect those uh, rain bands to uh, start impacting the islands uh, possibly tonight and into early tomorrow morning high waves already being reported as well as gusty winds of up to 40 to 60 kilometers per hour already starting to be felt in the areas out here this is another infrared image and again you can see those cold yellow uh, yellow shadings here indicating uh, strong convective activity here surrounding that small eye small but rugged eye again moving closer to the to the philippines uh, we were expecting a slight reintensification, but it should remain a Category 4. I don't think it will reach Category 5 Super Typhoon status anymore. But either way, this the Kagupit is still pretty much a very dangerous cycle and it needs to be uh, carefully watched. And if you are li living in these uh, coastal areas out here in Samar and the Bicol provinces, and the island of Catanduanes, even parts of, uh, of Leyte and northern Cebu and, uh, and Masbate and Romblon and those islands along the path of this storm should really take... Uh, take heed with the warnings of your local officials and if you are in storm prone areas or in low lying areas please head to higher ground if you live in in, in, um, in uh, less sturdy buildings move to 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 again the evacuation shelters uh, and and other uh, sturdier uh, sturdier buildings just to really ride out the storm again we expect the system to make landfall in about 24 hours from now uh, and then move westward across the islands of the Philippines over the next uh, two days. Now we are also starting to see much better agreement among the computer model outputs. There is less uh, divergence now and, and uh, the consensus pretty much is taking Hagupit towards northern Samar, uh, perhaps brushing as well the isle, uh, the, the Bicol region, possibly moving near the uh, provinces of Sorsogon and Albay and perhaps even near the island of Masbate before moving westward into parts of Romblon, Marinduque, perhaps into the Mindoro Island. Uh, now, if you're looking at the forecast from the agencies in the region, we begin with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and again taking Hagupit, brushing the northern Samar uh, area and then moving into the Bicol region. Actually, Joint Typhoon Warning Center plowing through the uh, provinces of Albay and Camarines Sur into Quezon and into parts of southern Luzon, possibly moving just south of Metro Manila as you move into um, uh, Monday and into Tuesday, Joint Typhoon Warning Center also keeping Hagopit a typhoon throughout its passage across the Philippines. While he here is the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency's latest forecast, five-day forecast, and uh, slightly south compared to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Remember, Joint Typhoon Warning Center taking Hagopit towards Bicol region, whereas JMA is taking the center 
into the island of Samar and again brushing the island of Basbate, perhaps moving north of the island of Panay before moving into Mindoro and out into the West Philippines here, the South China Sea as you move into uh, Tuesday morning here. Uh, also, a joint JMA expecting uh, Hagupit to remain a typhoon for at least another 24 to 48 hours before uh, weakening uh, due to um, land interaction. And, uh, finally, we have the Pagasus latest forecast, a little bit of middle ground. Uh, the, their latest forecast track is positioned between the JMA and the JTWC forecast, taking Hagupit north uh, into northern Samar, perhaps moving just north of Kalbayog City. Uh, again, expecting landfall uh, Saturday evening, and then moving into northern, uh, I'm sorry, into uh, southern Bicol, again, near the province of Sorsogon, and into Mindoro Island in Marinduque, moving just south of Batangas as we move into um, uh, Monday and into Tuesday. Um, so, again, the latest track from Pagasa, middle ground between Joint Typhoon Warning Center and JMA, but overall, very close agreement among the agencies uh, in the region. Um, uh, again, you, uh, seeing more and more agreement uh, in the consensus uh, out here. Now, if you are in the path of the storm, uh, please do take heed now. We have about four, 24 hours before landfall. However, if you are not in the path of the storm, say you're in southern Luzon or parts of, uh, say, in Cebu or in the island of Negros or Bohol, Bohol or, e or even in Leyte, the forecasts uh, are not taking the eye into your region. That doesn't mean you should um, relax as the uh, impacts of, of, of um, Hagupit will definitely still be felt throughout a wide area uh, out here in Visayas, parts of northern Mindanao and especially including parts of the Bicol region in southern Luzon, even including Metro Manila. We could see some strong winds and heavy rains as you move into Sunday and into Monday. So, again, please pay, pay, uh, pay close attention to the forecasts and warnings from your local officials. I know Pagasa has expanded the provinces and areas under signal warnings. Uh, so please check it out as well on our uh, website, Western Pacific Weather. We have different maps out there. We also have storm surge warnings uh, advisories. Uh, from Project NOAA, from the DOST, uh, which is a government um, agency. And uh, again, they have expanded as well the uh, advisories of storm surge, expecting as much as 4 meters in parts of Samar and Leyte. Uh, and also uh, parts of Masbate, the islands of that we've been uh, that we've been talking about, Quezon Province, and parts of Bicol provinces as well could see uh, could see storm surge heights of up to two meters as the uh, as the uh, as the typhoon moves ashore uh, tomorrow and into Sunday. And that concludes our video update for this evening. Again, as you've been saying, please heed the warnings and follow the forecasts of your of, of, of and and instructions of your local officials. Again, storm prone areas, please evacuate as soon as you can, especially if you are in the path of the storm. Even if you are not, again, please pay, pay close attention and be prepared for uh, for uh, strong and damaging winds and heavy rains and again storm surge if you are living uh, in, the, in the coast and as always keep you updated on our websites and blog and we also have links uh, for different uh, different forecasts and maps uh, below um, thank you for watching i'll see you in our next update stay safe